Hello designers, welcome. Today I'm going to make this beautiful retro style design based on the autumn season theme. I'll develop this design in few stages. I'll focus on the colors for the theme, develop the background, choose the main font and finally stylize it properly to this retro style design. Please like and subscribe the video so that you can keep on watching such awesome videos in the future as well. First things first, this tutorial is the third one that I'm developing in the current 3D text series. In the previous video, the main theme was summers so after summers comes autumn and when it comes to autumn it is dominated by the shades of orange and brown followed by yellow and green as you can see through these images and videos that i went through while looking for inspiration to find the colors for autumn from them i have managed to select all these colors which i would be using to build my designs for this autumn theme i'll develop three textiles and this is part one of three part series of autumn text so let's start working and let's start by working on the background first. To start off, I'll click on the ellipse tool by going here on the left and choosing from the drop down list. The keyboard shortcut for it is L. Now let us just click on the screen and the menu would pop up. Here, fill in the value of 600 pixels. Align the circle to the center of the artboard. Set the fill to none here on the left. And now go to the appearance panel on the right hand side. Add a new fill and give it the cream color using the eyedropper tool. Now select this fill and copy it by dragging it onto this plus button you see here. Mm -hmm. Now to this copy, let's add an offset path by going down here and clicking on the FX and then to path and then offset path. I'm going to offset it by 100 pixels and press OK. Now I'm going to repeat this process and I'll keep on adding and duplicating these fills and I will increase the offset by 100 pixels in every layer until the whole artboard is covered by these circles. Now I'll select the second fill here in order and give it the slightly darker color of cream and then alternately fill all the layers. Next, I'm going to select the rectangle tool by pressing M on the keyboard and then click on the screen. I'll create a rectangle of 1920 by 1080 pixels. Let's align this to artboard in the center here. Make sure that it is kept on the layer above the circles. Now I'll select the rectangle and circles and then press right click. Select make clipping mask and this will mask the circles inside the rectangle. I'll then go here in layers panel and lock this layer so that it doesn't get selected unintentionally later on. All right, now let's move on to creating the dotted mesh that will be kept on top of these circles. For that, first of all, create a new rectangle, again of 1920 by 1080 pixels. Now go to the swatches and click here below on the library tab. From here, go to patterns and then select graphite dots. Choose this one here with 6% value that gives you a nice dot patterns. Now the first thing we need to do is change the color of the dots. And since it's a pattern, you cannot directly change its color from fill and stroke on the left or from the appearance panel on the right. Mm -hmm. It's not going to happen. What we really need is direct access to the each individual dots and the colors applied to it. To do that, go into the swatches panel and double click on the dot pattern we have applied. This will open the pattern editing window and here select all the dots and go into the full settings and apply the given hex code of FB9881. And done. So you see, now our dots color has changed. So it's one thing to work with solid colors and it's another to work with patterns and dots. Next, what we need is to reduce the opacity of this rectangle so that the dots are only visible towards the center of the artboard and fade out as it goes out. For that, we will use the transparency panel. Let's select this dots pattern here and click on the transparency tab on the right. So you see here, there are two rectangles. The one on the left shows the object on which you are going to apply some sort of transparency and the one on the right is to apply the mask that would cover the object basically select this rectangle on the right and now we can draw the shape or place an image that would cover the object when we want to mask and turn it into desired shape i mean i can select the rectangle tool ellipse tool or any shape that i want to apply on it what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the pen tool and apply a custom shape so i'm going to click from point to point in anti-clockwise direction and make this into smaller rectangular or kind of a hexagonal shape you could have done it by simply choosing you know a polygon tool but i just wanted to show that we can use many tools to achieve what we want i'm going to select the gradient tab on the left here and apply a radial gradient i can now adjust gradient shape by moving the sliders or by changing the opacity of black and the white colors 
Remember, the black color shows the part that would become transparent or would simply disappear and the white color shows the part that would be visible. I would encourage you to change test in tweak settings as per choice. Once we are happy with the effect, we will go back in transparency panel and then finally click back on the image on the left to come out of the transparency mode. So make sure you click on the image or the box on the left to come out of the transparency settings and this would complete our background setup and now we are ready to move on to the text. Now let's work on the main text. I wanted to choose a stylized curvy kind of a font. So I went for the script fonts. In that, I again went to Adobe fonts and after searching and trying, I chose Abiola script font. It's a beautiful and an elegant looking font. I'll give the text a 500 point size. Since it's going to have a retro kind of a vibe, it will have series of offset and transform settings applied to it. But before I do that, I want to modify the letters. The cool thing about many script fonts is that it allows modification of individual letters to further control the styling of the text. So I'll select the letter A and try and see what other modifications are available. Then I'll try that with letter T and letter N. In the end, this has given us a cool looking font and the word autumn that I was looking for. Now let's just set the fill to none on the left here. Let's go to the appearance panel on the right and let's start our work. Add a fill here and choose the eyedropper tool and give it again the cream color. Now let's add another fill below it and give it the orange color. Next, I'm going to apply an offset to it. It. let's go down here into effects and then to path and then offset path and let's apply this 10 pixel offset with the mirror joints this offset helps to expand the text next i'll add a transform let's go down again here in the effects then distort and transform and then to transform here in the menu i'll move it by one pixel on the horizontal and i'll move it by 0.75 pixels on the vertical and down here then i'll add 20 copies and press ok now I'm going to simply copy this layer three more times as I want to add three more color layers. Now I'll select each color layer individually and change their colors by using the eyedropper tool. I'll select this color layer which is third in a hierarchy and open its transform and simply add 30 more copies to it to stretch the effect further downwards and outwards. I'll now repeat the same for the rest of the two color fills by adding 30 copies progressively to each fill. Now let's just make it full screen to see how it looks. It looks great. Now I would request you to continue watching the next Autumn 3D text tutorial once it's uploaded here or you can check out the previous text series or perhaps check the channel for a full range of videos and tutorials that I have uploaded so far. Thank you for being with me so far. Take care and keep learning.